Hey everyone, Aiden here. Today we're looking at fixing a Dell U2711 monitor, which has had part of the display acting up, with red pixels being stuck. To do this we'll be disassembling the monitor, and reseating the main display cable. So I recently picked up another U2711, and shortly after I got it, suddenly half of the display had these red jittery pixels appearing, with the other half being untouched. Some people online suggested twisting the monitor, but since the bezels are quite strong and due to the design of the monitor, I found that didn't work for me. I rightly guessed it was an issue with seating the display cable inside the monitor, so with the help of an iFixit guide, I went about disassembling it. I firstly went about removing the stand. Since it had torque screws, and I didn't have a proper screwdriver, I had to play around with various flatheads until I found one that fitted. I then quickly unscrewed the four screws for the VESA stand, and removed the base. When this is done, the next step is removing the back of the monitor. This was a little confusing, and took some time and a bit of force, but I found I had to use a plastic pick to press into the gap of the monitor bezel, and slowly pry it off. I used a guitar pick, but a proper plectrum would work better. I pried around the edges of the front bezel, slowly releasing the small latches. This requires a bit of force, you need to put some effort in while still being careful not to break anything. Once this is done, both the front and back bezel will be free. Place the monitor on the screen so the front bezel stays put, and slowly lift the back off. Don't pull up too much as the card reader is still attached. Carefully remove the fragile flex cable from the monitor, and then pull away the main base. This is the only cable attached to the outer shell, so you can put it in the side once you're done. This is where we do the final steps. Remove the small metal plate by sliding it forward, and you'll see two cables. You can either fully unplug them and clean them if they need it, or in my case just wiggling and reseating the cables did the trick. I then plugged the monitor back in to check if it worked, then packaged it back up. I put the small plate back on, put the back onto the monitor, making sure to attach the flex cable. I then put the stand back on, and it's done. Everything turned out really well, with no damage being done, and the problem was fixed. Took a bit of time, but in the end it was free, and not too difficult. The monitor looks great again, and it was good that I didn't have to pay anything to get this fixed. So thank you for watching, feel free to like the video if it helped you, and subscribe if you want to see more from me, and if you have any questions leave them below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.